I got this uh, DDoS max list that I've been playing with. And I just made a few changes to it, so I'm not sure how well it's going to perform. If we have a pause, we'll take a look at the deck list. Um, so this looks like a this looks like a certain mulligan with no money. And then we mulligan into two econ cards, that's good. Um, MBN always scares me. We'll see what happens here. Oh, well, only spends a click to get a credit, so that's like perfectly fine. We will draw. Oh, sweet. And career fair for daily casts. And sure gamble and same old thing. So we're just getting all the money. Uh, we lost Imp and Katie in the self mill. Um, draw, install on a remote, gain a credit. Okay. Is there anything I really worry about face checking against MBN? I guess architect is like super bad news. Um, we lost medium and grimoire, but we got a clone ship. Um, let's draw more money. So we will install, install, take money. Okay. Um, probably got to check that remote out. He's iced up everything. He's installed two things in the remote. Hmm. That seems suspicious. Let's see what we got here. We got Yogg in there. Uh, um, plenty of money. If it's wrap around, we're in trouble. I say we check out this remote. Um, really no idea what's going on here. I assume it's like... Okay, so let's do Yogg then. And hmm, he should have run the ash trace. Uh, yeah, we can afford to trash now, even if it's an NAPD. Yeah. Um, let's take money and then run R and D. Um, now Corp is below architect range, so. Um, okay, so he's not boosting lose click. Um, I want to keep my click so that I can run on HQ, I think. Just hope this isn't a pop-up window. Yay, we got an agenda out of it. Is that the three-pointer? Word! Okay, so that worked out real well. Um, shipment. Ah, misclick. Yeah, it's like, um, Advanceable ice or something? Shipment, can you even use shipment on advanceable ice? Okay, so that looked quite good for us. Um, 
Let's do money. Mimic run HQ. Hedge fund. Do we want to run again? Do we want to get some money? Or do we want to parasite something? I kind of want to parasite Viper. Nice. We've really got him backpedaling pretty bad here. Um, let's take more money and hit R&D. Sweep, sweep, okay. Um, we can check HQ, but then we won't be able to liberate it. Uh, I kind of feel like stabilizing here, so let's do that. We might inject next turn. Um, now that we have most of our breaker suite here, that looks pretty good. Now let's inject first and see what we get. Um, so we did lose Corroder. We got a bunch of money. Let's get rid of Jackson. Uh, let's see, what influences we've seen? I feel like if Caduceus is there, we're not really worrying about a meat damage kill, so I'm not too concerned with Plascrete. Uh, okay. So what could that be? Should we throw down David and take a look? If it's wraparound, we can get through. Or what are our other options here? Um, let's do money, David, run. <laughs> uh oh. I think it is a wraparound. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah, so. Um, okay, so now we're, we're way ahead. Um, let's just. Make sure that we have enough money. Um. And they're right. Um, you know, it's it seems like it's a pretty rough. Yep, just gonna like give up on that and um, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so I think what we're gonna try to do here is set up a brutal medium dig to finish off the game, um, involving laying down 
net ready and hammering R and D. Um, but should we do that right now? And I, the whole idea of this deck is around DDoS. So where are DDoS at? We haven't seen either of them. Um, okay, so let's wait and see if we can get DDoS to show up. Um, all the money. So I'm thinking R&D Ice might be Toll Booth. Uh, that would be rough. Is there anything we're afraid of at this point? Uh, okay. Oof, we just got Corroder. All right. I think we put up a whole bunch of R&D pressure here. Um, uh, I'm only going to get two medium runs in, though. Um, This is a hard decision. Let's not. Um, instead, let's. Net ready. And run. R&D. Put net ready on Mimic just in case. Um, obviously, we don't know what this is. So. Flare. Okay. Just break with David. Puts. Puts our opponent below agenda scoring range, too, um, which is really good for us. Uh, we could use a legwork here. That might close out the game. We can hit R&D one more time, which I don't mind. R&D is so cheap right now. Uh, so is legwork, though. Let's uh, draw. Oof, God. And leg work. I think um, they've drawn. Oh, there we go. There's the game. Um, yeah, I felt like they had drawn enough. I felt like this might even be a bluff, especially with the, uh, yeah, I felt like that might be a bluff. Um, they're saying they only had one, uh, and we were really well set up to do some kind of medium dig, maybe. Um, flare is rough. Uh, we, you know, you can only get by it, basically, as many David counters as we have. But, um, yeah, perform pretty well. Uh, this is the deck list. Um, it's not really an aggressive max. It's actually meant to kind of sit back and set up a big medium dig with uh, DDoS, which is the idea behind the deck. Uh, it has lots of money, um, some viruses and stuff. I actually just recently changed. I did minus two data sucker, plus one David, plus one corroder. 
um, because I found that I had a really small suite of breakers and I was having trouble finding them. Um, and Parasite is still good in sort of a, a long game oriented deck because you can test the waters a little bit and burn stuff down, uh, like we did with um, Viper in that game. Uh, I got some career fairs in there, got Net Ready Eyes. Um, yeah, so. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, definitely kind of the the good stuff max shell, but DDoS has been pretty cool. It's great that you can lay it down and get uh, in a good turn four R and D runs in uh, using clone ship to bring back medium in real time and trashing DDoS in real time. So you can basically just do all R and D runs if you time things right. Um, really really cool card that I haven't seen played much, so that's kind of the idea behind this. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.